the Bible says nothing about artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. So what do we say about artificial intelligence? Well, in the Bible, you find uh, certain descriptions of the nature of human beings, and you can apply those and the moral um, the moral standards of scripture to many of the discussions on artificial intelligence today, which is why, if you don't mind me saying so, I wrote another book called 2084, Artificial Intelligence and the Future of Humanity. Not because I thought the Bible speaks directly on the topic, but indirectly, there are so many things in there that are relevant to the way in which we wrestle with the great moral problems that uh, AI raises. Let me give you another example, COVID. We're facing the Omicron variety and uh, it's, it's ravaging through the world. It raises huge questions for people. The whole coronavirus epidemic raises the hardest question of all, which you haven't raised yet. But the hardest question of all is the, is the problem of suffering and evil. Absolutely. And we need to think about that. And how do I face that? Well, not by referring to a chapter of the Bible that uh, is Coronavirus 101, but by referring to the way in which the Bible gives us deep insight into the way in which we are to regard suffering and death. And it gives us real hope because it tells us that death is not the end. And for the Christian, there is the tremendous hope of a resurrection. Now, if I did not believe that, that Christ had overcome death, I wouldn't be talking to you because I would have no hope in the coronavirus crisis, no hope in, in face of my uh, death, which normally speaking is much nearer than yours because I'm 78 as I, I speak to you. But I have great hope for the future because I believe that although the Bible doesn't address all these things directly, of course it doesn't. It doesn't talk about mathematics either, by the way. God wants us to find out a lot of things by ourselves, but it gives us principles at a moral and spiritual and intellectual and emotional level that can help us explore these things to a sufficient extent that we can have real hope in the midst of crisis. Uh, and that's the main thing. My question to myself is, um, have I got anything to say to people who are suffering? And I'm sure I've got way beyond what I've allowed to, but I did write a book, book on the coronavirus in the first week of lockdown. Where is God in the coronavirus world? And it's now in 35 languages around the world, which shows that people have responded. People are interested in the big questions, especially when the chips are down.